Well, Rock County is stepping up precautions. Doctors in Sauk County are calling on their county leadership to do the same. Gabriella Becerra takes us there. The doctors and nurses that work here at Sauk Prairie Healthcare sent this letter to the community asking for their support by using COVID-19 prevention strategies. Rural America really kind of lagged behind uh, COVID-19 in urban areas, but it has since caught up. Dr. Nathan Grunewald says he and his co-workers fear the spread of COVID-19 will only get worse in Sauk County. Our concern is that the increasing positivity rate of COVID-19 within our communities is skyrocketing. Grunewald says the Sauk Prairie Hospital is looking for other places to send patients as bed capacity fills up. Things that in the past you came to the hospital for and we fixed for you, we may struggle to do that. Sauk Prairie Healthcare is calling on the county to publicly support COVID-19 prevention strategies, something the health department has also been asking for. Our numbers continue to rise. Sauk County COVID-19 Incident Commander Jeff Jelnick says his department is focused on education, but only so much can be done. It's things that are so simple, but a lot of folks for some reason do not want to follow through. Back at the hospital, Grunewald says there's still some time to turn this trend around, but it needs to happen soon. The trajectory we're on right now is unsustainable and that there's a real risk, not just from getting COVID-19, but potentially treating an illness that's curable because we simply don't have space. Doctors say these prevention strategies, washing your hands, keeping your distance, and wearing a mask will be especially important during the holiday season. In Prairie du Sac, I'm Gabriella Becerra, News 3 Now. Sauk Prairie Healthcare sent that letter to leaders in the community and individual residents. Sauk County Board of Supervisors Chairperson Tim McCumber says county leaders act as role models in the community. And while Sauk County respects the state orders, McCumber says the county's hands are tied when it comes to making their own stricter rules.